Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to Simple Life in Australia. So today I'm going to show you how to make this very easy pickled papaya or we call it achara in the Philippines. So let's go and let's get started. So for this recipe, I only used one papaya and that's the one on the left. I'm just going to show you the rest of our ingredients. So in here, I've got some ginger, red onions, bell pepper, I've got some garlic that I chopped. And then the others, I just left them home like this. And then I've got some carrots as well. Okay, so I'll just put them on the side. So those are the rest of the vegetables that we will be using. And these are our fresh papaya. I'm going to use our machine. This is our salad master um, machine that we're going to use using our number one attachment. Yeah, it's number one attachment. Okay, so I'll just bring that camera closer so you can see what we're doing. Just using this salad master machine, this is so good because it'll make your life easy. So if you're the type of person who loves to do, you know, pickled papaya or pork, I mean not pork, carrots or other vegetables, I highly suggest that you get something, you know, one like this. I got this for free just for hosting a dinner for Salad Master. So what I did is I just invited two couples and then I get to own this lovely machine that we're using. So it's very easy. I even use this for lots of my um, cheese because it makes it easy to you know do cuts like this one I don't need to exert too much effort when I'm doing that and yeah it's very easy you can do it both ways you can do it the way that I'm doing now or you can put it it's got like a small compartment here where you can put your vegetable in and then you just press on it okay but I like doing it the other way around because I can control it and I can exactly see where I'm at so these are very sharp let me just remind you these are really really sharp so when you're getting closer to the end you have to be really you have to go really slowly and you have to be really careful We'll continue doing this until I finish all of the papaya and then I'll see you on the next step. Hello guys, we're back. So this is now our papaya. Okay, so that's our grated papaya. I'm just going to add one tablespoon of salt. Now this salt will actually help extract all those excess water from the papaya and the resin. So we're just going to mix this just give it like a toss i i just put on some gloves i put on gloves because i don't know i'm getting reaction from the resin of the papaya so yeah <laughs> if you're sensitive to it yeah you can put on gloves it's okay so if you can see inside there's already like liquid coming out of the papaya so we just want to extract that so the way to do it is we're going to squeeze this just get a handful and then squeeze it okay. Look at all those water. So since this is, you know, we can't really hold that, so we're just gonna use the strainer and strain those water out. We're going to do now our pickled solution or the liquid. 
that we put on into our pickled salad, okay? I'll be back. All right, guys, so now we're going to do our pickled sauce. So I've got the vinegar here and we're going to use two cups of vinegar. And then I'm going to add one and a half cup of sugar. You can use a granulated sugar. You can use a granulated sugar. It's just that I ran out of, of granulated sugar. So I'm just going to use the the brown sugar. So I'll just add one cup for now and then if it's not enough I'll just add a bit more later and then we'll add in our on our ginger and peppercorns I've also got my laurel leaves or bay leaves if you have turmeric that's much better because that's going to give this color and then we're going to add one teaspoon of salt I just want to give it a good mix we're going to cook this but I just want to make sure that I have the right um, flavor the the right balance of sweetness and the sour from the vinegar because that's what your achara is supposed to be yep. so in this um, pot here I've got water that I put lots and lots of salt now I'm going to add our grated papaya there later. We're just going to give it that like quick blanch and then we'll remove it immediately, okay? So I just really want to make sure that there won't be any more resin in our papaya. Because like what I said earlier, it's a fresh papaya so there will be lots of resins in there. So I'll just put this over... I'll put this over medium heat and then we'll just wait until this cooks and then we'll start forming we'll start adding all the other in vegetables but the other vegetables we will put them later on once this is done because we don't want to overcook them all right so i'll continue squeezing that grated papaya that we've done earlier to remove all the excess water and then once this is done I'll start blanching the papaya okay so while we're waiting for our water to boil we're just going to put together all our um, vegetables so we've got the bell pepper here we've got the chopped garlic because we left the whole ones for later we're going to use that to decorate our jar and then our carrots maybe just leave like five to six carrots aside also for your decoration later. Okay, so we'll just toss it like that. And then once this starts to boil, I think it's already boiling. Yep. So this is already boiling. Let me just bring the camera closer. So that's that water is boiling. We'll turn it off now. And then I'll just add the papaya. And then I'm going to put this into our colander. Okay. So we'll set this aside and we'll let it cool. Hello guys, we're back. So we just let the papaya cool after we put that into, you know, remember we blanch it, like a quick blanching. And then I just put it into this colander. colander and then we just let it cool and then we've got our pickled sauce here which is also cool and then here is the other the rest of the salad okay 
So I'm just going to add our papaya in here. They smell so good. Okay. And then I'm going to add our sultanas or raisins, but we call it sultanas here. Okay. So we've got lots of different colors in here, which is very exciting. And then and then we will now add our cold pickled sauce so if you can see it's a little bit yellow because since I don't have the turmeric ginger or the turmeric I added just a little bit of the turmeric powder and it added a lot of flavor in it which is really nice so we'll give it a quick toss Look at that. That is so, that looks so good. Now some people will actually add this in the jar without the, uh, without the liquid first and then they'll add the liquid later on. But I wanted it this way because I wanna, I just, I wanted them to just soak for a little bit. And then I'll add them into our jar. And remember, I told you earlier to reserve some of the um, onions, the garlic, and the carrots because we're going to use them inside. And I'll just leave this here in case, just in case we need it later. <laughs> I was attempting to cheat, and, then <laughs> and this is—I just repurposed this jar. That's why you know I keep on reminding you guys to recycle so this is just the coffee jar an empty coffee jar that i recycle so just using your spoon we'll just add it into our jar and we have our pickled papaya and we're going to leave this in the fridge for three days before we serve it that way all the flavor is there Look at all those colors, isn't that great? So we'll just add them all there. And then, this is why I asked you to reserve some. Because we're going to put that on the side. your jar it's already there but you can really see all the ingredients okay and then we'll add some more of these yourself and you don't have to buy it just feel proud of yourself
So this is just one medium size of papaya that we use, but look at that. So for our sugar, remember I told you I just added like a cup and then I added maybe half of the, maybe one, no not one fourth, one eighth, one eighth cup more. So this will really depend on you on how you like your achara because I don't like it too sweet I don't like it too sour but I wanted I wanted to take I wanted that saltiness in there so I added one more teaspoon of salt earlier as well so but yeah but as soon as I added the turmeric powder it just changes the the flavor like it completed it so all of this the rest of that just gonna add them here on top. Nothing will go to waste. And then we can add some more of the satanas. There we have it. So this is now our finished pickled papaya. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. So I'll cover this now. It has to be an airtight jar. And then we'll put this in the fridge for three days before we'll serve it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button and the bell next to that so you can be notified every time we post a new video. Until next time, stay safe and God bless. Bye!